you just look how juicy this mackerel looks this mackerel is super super tasty delicious succulent and enriched with deep deep smoky flavor i am sure you're already thinking of how to enjoy this for this recipe you need these simple ingredients you need some palm oil some salt some paprika some seasoning powder or seasoning cube some chili if you want some spiciness and you need the liquid smoke that is a game changer if you do not want to use the palm oil if, in case you feel it's a bit messy or it's unnecessary make use of just vegetable oil next you're going to go ahead to mix all of these ingredients together except for the salt please keep the salt aside Once everything is nicely combined, like I have here, you're going to set the marinade aside. You're going to go ahead to wash your fish. I washed my fish with lemon. Some people wash with vinegar. Some people wash with salt. Do whatever you like, but I love to wash my fish with lemon. Make sure that the gut of your fish is removed. Next, I placed it in the basket to drain a little bit and I had to use a kitchen towel to pat dry just to make sure that most of the liquid on it is removed so once you're done with the pat drying and your fish is reasonably dry of course it won't be totally dry you're going to sprinkle your salt over your fish at this stage you're going to allow the salt to go in you're going to just rub it all over into the gut and all over the fish like i'm doing here i've never tried mixing the salt into the marinade but you can try that and let me know how it turns out but i usually always just sprinkle my salt like this next you're going to distribute your paste all over the fish and outside of your fishes like this and make sure every inch of your fish is covered with this mix make sure you're generous with the amount of the marinade that you're putting on the fish but bear in mind also that you still have three more fishes to marinate so just make sure that it goes around and you have enough for all your fishes now it's time to fold your fish if you want to go ahead and fold make sure you bend the back of the fish gently you do not want for it to break this is how the vendors do it in nigeria and if you're looking to recreate that feel you have to follow this process so bend the fish gently until you're able to put the tail of the fish through the mouth and then you're going to hold it with a toothpick i'm going to repeat the process with a camera close-up so that you can understand what i mean if you have watched this video up to this point thank you so very much for watching i do really appreciate you please do not forget to hit the subscribe button leave me a comment and also hit the like button thank you so here we go again please pay attention to the folding process but please note you do not have to fold your fish for it to taste nice Next, you're going to make sure you drizzle all the leftover marinade on your fish so that you don't waste anything. And you're going to place your fish in a preheated oven. You're going to cook your fish between 40 to 50 minutes, depending on how your oven works. But please make sure you're checking your fish as you cook. Do not leave it to cook the whole 40 or 50 minutes without checking. And also halfway through the cooking, please flip your fish so that the other side can also be exposed to the direct heat from the oven. And this is what we have. You should also have something like this at the end of the cooking process if you follow this recipe. And there you have it. Our delicious smoked mackerel is ready. The Ejakika style. What would you be making with this mackerel? 
I did make some mackerel stew with it and it was super delicious. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and also leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up and I will be seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.